The objective of this lesson is to solve tasks using multiplicative thinking. In previous grades, we learned that multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. Many students in lower grades would use counting, addition, or skip counting to determine the number of beans in this graphic. They could simply count the beans, add three four times, add four three times, or skip count three, six, nine, twelve to produce a correct answer. When asked to determine the amount of apples in the basket, most students in the sixth grade would multiply five groups of six or five times six for a product of 30. This is what we call multiplicative thinking. Students who are using additive thinking would add six plus six five times for a sum of 30. Students must be able to think multiplicatively or to use proportional reasoning as they learn about ratios and use them in situations involving shrinking, enlarging, and scaling. Multiplicative thinking is also used when producing equivalent fractions. When given the fraction one half, I could multiply the numerator and the denominator by any number to produce an equivalent fraction. If I multiply each by three, I would produce the equivalent fraction three sixths. If I multiply by five, I would produce the equivalent fraction five tenths. Students need to be able to differentiate between additive and multiplicative thinking. Let's look at the following situation. Jane's kite string is 200 feet long. Abe's kite string is three times as long as Jane's kite string. How long is Abe's kite string? How much longer is Abe's kite string than Jane's kite string? Using the keywords in the statements about the kite string's length, we can determine Abe's kite string by multiplying 200 times three, which is 600 feet long. We can find out how much longer Abe's string is by subtracting 200 from 600. Abe's string is 400 feet longer than Jane's kite string. Determining the length of Abe's kite string used multiplicative thinking and determining the difference in the length of the two kite strings used additive thinking. Let's try another problem. In this situation, a kite's sail is 80 centimeters wide. The width of the tail is eight centimeters wide. How many times as wide is the sail compared to the tail? How much wider is the sail than the tail? We will use multiplicative thinking to find the answer to this problem. We first determine that 80 is 10 times as much as eight. So the sail is 10 times as wide as the tail. This is multiplicative thinking. We will use additive thinking to determine the difference. 80 subtract eight is 72. The sail is 72 centimeters wider than the tail. The objective of this lesson was to solve tasks using multiplicative thinking. We were able to do this by understanding the difference between additive and multiplicative thinking and solving problems using multiplicative and additive thinking.